That's the end of our lecture today. Why didn't you come in? Have you been waiting long? Where has your mind wandered off to this time? <laughs> I knew it. You came all the way here, probably for work-related matters again. What else are you here for? Professor Lucien, you ready to leave? Yes, today's classes are over. You're as popular as always. I spotted a few more of those red threads on your desk. They must be from that matchmaker temple nearby. I don't concern myself with such things. My job is to teach. <laughs> I figured as much. Oh, there's something else. Excuse me one moment. Hello? I just got out of class. Why do you ask? I'm free for the rest of the day. No plans for now. So, any suggestions? What about activities for two? Okay. Be careful on the way. What were you going to say? Ah, oh, now I understand why you don't care about that kind of stuff. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. It's just that a lot of girls I know will probably be heartbroken you were looking for me earlier what do you need it's a little embarrassing actually but some girl asked me to give you this red thread anyway I guess it's not necessary now please tell her this a red thread symbolizes a bond between lovers and it would be wasted on me because a long time ago I formed that bond with someone else Hmm. 
This place does seem very special. Is that why you wanted to come with me? We do seem a bit casual in comparison. How about we dress up too? What if I'm being serious? What are you thinking? Yes. Yes, we are. We're here to see the matchmaking god. I suppose these legends exist because people desire happiness. There's only one pair of butterfly lovers in a million. A love that's beyond life and death is certainly precious, but it's already rare for ordinary people to hold true to their until death do us part vows. Not to mention, there's no difference between these emotions.
so don't be too bothered. Yes, it does. Thank you for doing this for us. I've noticed that every piece of clothing you made has a lotus flower embroidered on it. Is there any meaning behind it? Don't worry, I won't tell her. Yes, she does. Does it bother you? Such a misunderstanding doesn't bother me. But if it bothers you...
wait for me here. Wait for me. I'll be right back. I brought some sweets. Do you want some? Even though a silly girl tried to hide it, it didn't escape my notice. It's okay. Almost done. Try walking around and see if they fit. Take your time. No. Why? Is that so? But I seem to remember hearing someone saying it's bitter. Sounds very appealing. In that case, I should indeed give it a try.
It's very sweet indeed. Thanks. What's wrong? Let's go inside. I was wondering why you took my red ribbon away, and it turns out... Plus what? You seem to have forgotten something. Would you like to keep this red thread for me? <laughs> Fine, I'll stop teasing you. Let's go take a look. Are you not going to pray?
No, it's not that. I just don't think that it's necessary. Who says destiny can't be seen? It's right in front of me. What are you making? Why did you suddenly decide to do this? <laughs> Good. I look forward to seeing your finished work. But, are you short on threads? Why did you take mine? But as far as I know, when someone wears a rope bracelet made of red threads, it has a special meaning. When worn by couples, it means love forever. When worn by singles, it means peace and safety. Which one should I believe? I just can't help but to tease you. You don't have to. This knot.
It fits perfectly. Nice job. A big improvement on that peace nut. Have you been practicing a lot? Did someone teach you that secret? I didn't know there was so much meaning behind it. Thank you for telling me. I will treasure it. Do you have any ideas for the new show? If you're indecisive, maybe you can benefit from a change in perspective. Do you want my advice? Like you just said, if you take a cord and tie its ends together, it becomes a knot. But if you tie it to someone's hand, it becomes a symbol of love. Even if they're not physically together, they're bound by the thread of destiny. My love for you is etched in my bones as deeply as a red bean is etched in a dice. Once the knot is tied, nothing will tear us apart. Not even death.